the wiring is hooked up so now I have to route the wires to make sure they're okay I have to run these these are uh, the gas sensor lines right here this is a high perf coil which I don't know if it's high perf or just it's just red you know it looks better I don't know and everything's been hooked up the pump works good it makes kind of a weird whirring noise then what I'm gonna to have to do when I go to fill the uh, the head the way you do it is uh oh we got a problem here cat on cat look at that tail get him get him tear him up that's Mason in this corner this is Prego She's a girl. She looks like a guy except she doesn't have any balls. Other, other than that, she looks exactly like a guy. She is a big, mean. So there we go. Yes. These cats are not happy. Oh well. If they start fighting, then we'll go back to the drama. Ooh, he hissed at her. Good cat. I will fill up this here with uh, radiator fluid and what I do is I reach my hand around and I keep hitting the switch right here to go to have the pump push the fluid into the head and then back out to the return line it takes about 10 minutes to do it's kind of a pain in the ass but that's one way of doing it the other way you can do it which I'm not going to do it I have done it before is Usually, this is a one-piece deal with the fluid going into both sections, which this isn't. And what guys will do is drill a little hole right here on the very top and put a little um, a bolt with a copper washer on it. And then when they start to fill up the radiator, all your air comes out that little bolt hole until you get everything halfway full and then it, it spurts out and kind of runs down the back. But I'm not going to do it with this one. And then I have my uh, um, all my orifices all closed up because you don't want to get any bugs in there or anything like that. And I, I'm I'm just getting depressed because I haven't got this done. And you know, if I was 18 or 17, I'd stay up three, four nights in a row to make sure I had this done on the street, ready to go. But at my tender age of 60, I'm just not that motivated as I should be so with the wiring done I can put back on the hi Mason he's a neighbor cat he's really cool he comes over and says hello in the morning I can put on the back at the bottom footrest on there then before I put the pipe on I'm gonna to have to put on the new tires and new wheels and I have a new uh, front ball crankshaft, not a crankshaft, but I mean a, a wheel shaft right here. And I want to see if that makes any difference. So if any of you know out there, this is, this is uh, maybe something you could help me with. If you know how I can put on new moped tires on brand new wheels and avoid this small problem right here. You can see where that's a little bent. Um, I got bad hands. I get good knees, but uh, I bent that rim and I'm kind of pissed off. Then I have to attach the carb, which will be a 20 millimeter. Adjust the carb up. And as soon as I get the carb working good with the engine, then I'll change to the 33 Sedco, and I don't know if I have to change the jetting or not. I've had I've put on a 30 millimeter and it didn't seem to work as well as I wanted to. I don't know what the problem is. But other than than uh, me being lazy and unmotivated, it's 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 looking quite nice. 
All right, this is uh, Operation Dio, and this is the result so far. Oh, and to um, all those, to all my friends in Guatemala that watch the channel, I'm sorry to hear about your volcano. Those things are a bitch. I live in uh, Washington State, and I was here when Mount St. Helens went off, and it was uh, that was in 1980, and I still remember that day. Just one day, you got a real nice forest. And the next day, you got a big giant um, knock down trees and uh, ash pond and mudslides. I've never seen mudslides like that where 100 feet logs, six or seven feet across, were just coming down the river like matchsticks. And of course, whatever they hit, they, they were like a freight train hitting bridges and cars and boats and people. I mean, it was a, it was a clusterfuck. All right, Operation Dio continues.